As Tokyo continues to squeeze South Korea through trade restrictions, we're seeing the fallout far beyond the economic arena. And with other colliding regional interests, it's all the more important that the US doesn't misjudge its role. I'm Alex Jensen for Korea Now. Security cooperation between South Korea, the US and Japan has become increasingly difficult amid rising tensions between Seoul and Tokyo, according to a recently updated US congressional report. But the problem is far more obvious than any solution. The New York Times has reported the South Korean and Japanese foreign ministers have been annoyed by the US simply pressuring them. Washington may be hoping Seoul and Tokyo rediscover shared ground in security interests rather than the opposite. For example, just as South Korean President Moon Jae-in talked about catching Japan through an inter-Korean peace economy, North Korea fired yet more missiles, reminding us all of the shared threat that Seoul and Tokyo face. The fact these missiles were sent up in response to South Korean US military drills remind us Washington has a decisive role in either driving or calming inter-Korean tensions. And beyond the peninsula, the US has further escalated its trade war with China, posing even more danger to South Korean exports, as well as hoping to deploy new mid-range missiles in either South Korea or Japan, presumably aimed at China and Russia, but ostensibly to protect allies like South Korea and Japan. These same issues could be reversed, however. Seoul is seriously considering pulling out of a US-backed military intelligence sharing agreement with Japan. South Korea is also unlikely to host those mid-range American missiles, considering China's previous targeting of the South over the deployment of the US missile defense system THAAD. And cracks remain over the cost of stationing American troops in South Korea, so China could take advantage by getting closer to Seoul. They've been discussing a visit to the South by Chinese President Xi Jinping, while Seoul is also trying to confirm annual talks with Japan and China, setting the stage for Beijing to mediate where the US has been so far unable or unwilling. The danger should be clear for Washington to see, especially the threat to the security order held together by its Northeast Asian allies. As former President Barack Obama referred to South Korea as America's linchpin ally, the wheels come off if you remove the linchpin that keeps them in position. Obama also recognized the Japan alliance as the cornerstone, the very foundation stone that supports America's regional security structure. So while a US-led solution to Seoul and Tokyo's problems might be challenging, and their trilateral cooperation is shaking, not finding a diplomatic answer should be unthinkable.